Today on BritLab, can zapping your brain with electricity make you more alert? Whoa! Whoa! No! 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 To the egg! <laughs> oh! Woo! <laughs> there are times when I just wish that my brain was a little bit sharper and that I had better concentration. Certainly true of everyday life, but there are also those rare occasions when I try and take on my kids at their computer games and get absolutely thrashed. And it's computer gamers who are being targeted by companies hoping to sell them the ultimate performance boost by zapping their brain with electricity. When I first heard claims that electrical stimulation of the brain could supercharge it, I was frankly extremely skeptical. I've also read articles which suggest that it can improve alertness, learning, maybe even improve people's recovery from a stroke. But does it really work and is it safe? I'm about to find out. Dr Charlotte Stagg from Oxford University is going to put a current through my head to show me what it does. First, she tests my normal reaction times. Take a break, Ray. Well <laughs> I'm ready for it. <laughs> then I have my head strapped up with damp electrode pads, which will pass small electric currents through my brain. This is pretty safe, as we're doing it in the hospital setting, but it goes without saying, we don't recommend you try this at home. The brain is an incredible electrical organ, so the cells are firing all the time and connecting to each other like a mass of telephone cables. And we learn things by making the connections between these cables stronger. What this does is use a little bit of electricity to help those connections form. Hmm. Did anything happen? Uh, it's just yeah, warming up. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so you might start feeling something. Oh, I can like feel that. something, yeah. Okay, which whereabouts? It's kind of a little bit, oh yes. It's a little bit tingly? It's a little bit tingly, yeah. Yep. Time for me to do the same task again and see if it's making any difference. Hmm. Okay. I do feel a bit like um, I've just knocked back about, well, 20 minutes ago, a strong black coffee, which I haven't. <laughs> On average, the tests show a 10% improvement in reaction times for most people, with my results proving to be slightly above that. But this research ultimately isn't really about giving computer gamers better reaction times. Researchers think this stimulation technique could speed up recovery in people that have had strokes. Although this method seems like a very exciting prospect for many patients, the message is don't try this at home. In fact, if you are an avid gamer, you might want to think again, because while your reactions will become quicker, ah! you also become less accurate, which is not great for gamers. Do put your thoughts in the comment section below, and for more weekly scientific tips, sign up to BritLab 